So in June, I lost my job. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hello. Hi. Hi. What's up? Peace. Mm. Anyway, scratch all of that. I know I've been gone for a little bit. I know I have. I know. I know. I know. Bear with me. There's a reason why. And oh, hold on a second. Let me just go pause this music before I get copyrighted. All right. So basically, yeah, my sister came to visit. And so, yeah, um, I just, I just started, blah, 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 blah. I just decided to take some time off and just chill with my sister, spend some quality time with her and, you know, not have to be, you know, just chill basically, you know, sometimes every now and again we need to chill. So for the third time, I thought I'd pick up the camera today and talk to you guys, talk to y'all about what has been happening in my life. I've recorded and deleted and re-recorded and deleted and re-recorded and deleted this video uh, a couple of times or so. I've definitely recorded stuff and then kept recording and then kind of like thought, oh, I'm not gonna post that, I don't know. But for some reason, this is still kind of like been in my mind. Anyway, I'm talking way too much. Let me just get straight into it. So, in June, I lost my job. Let's talk. In June, I lost my job. Uh, it's been difficult, to say the least. Um, I'm, I'm sharing this story because, or this experience, because I kind of want people to know that when you're going through tough times, it, you just have to keep your faith like you can't or at least try not to let your mind because your mind will wander your mind your mind will shut down and i've been through all of those emotions believe you me i have been through those emotions this this is a very candid very honest video so i hope you can bear with me while I try and find the words. Um, but overall, the message of this video is to never lose hope, never lose faith. Um, if you believe in God, if you believe in a higher power, whatever you want to phrase it, just keep going. You, you, you have to keep going, you gotta keep going. Since I lost my job, I've been through so many emotions, there's been highs where I felt, you know, positive and felt in control and felt um, like, you know, all of this is happening for a reason. Trying to trust the process, basically. I've been trying to trust the process. And then, of course, there's been days where it's been difficult as, excuse my French shit. <laughs> it's been so hard sometimes um, especially when, uh, you know, you have a million questions in your head and about the future and kind of like the next step to take and just figuring out what all of this means. I believe in God and so I spend many hours, as you can imagine, constantly throughout the day asking God questions, asking God to clarify like, why is this happening? What do you want to do? with me what do you want me to use my life for and i'm the type of person that i have to have a reason for doing something like there's nothing more disheartening to me and i'm sure a lot of people can relate to this which is again i guess one of the reasons why i'm sharing this with you is that you, for me like i have to have this i have to have a purpose right like if i feel like i don't know where i'm going in my life or i don't i'm not working towards something in terms of my purpose then i'm just like oh, I feel that I feel like that for me just kind of yeah it's just it just it gets really hard it's not just about having a job it's about standing for something and letting that drive you um, and letting that come through but when I first lost my job I decided to kind of like throw myself into poetry which is where I know I want to be um, 
obviously that's not gonna come easy uh, just like anything else that you want to pursue in life there's probably gonna be a lot of competition there's gonna be a lot of people that you are doing the same thing I guess um, but you have to find the strength in you you have to find that uniqueness that individuality what makes you you because that's essentially what spins you uh, from everyone else that's what makes you different from everyone else the fact that you are you and no one else can be you so the way I think the way I see the world the way I learn the way I want to learn the person I want to be who I am now all of that shapes me into being the artist that people can see and love um, and I can stand out from the rest so like I was saying I've had so many days where I've like had conversations with God I've cried like there's no tomorrow like you know and I'm the type of person again that if I'm going through something I prefer to go through it on my own I don't really like I don't really I prefer to just deal with it on my own there's a song by Drake I forget the name but and in, in there's a there's a verse in it there's a lyric uh in the way it says I deal with it on my own and every time I listen to that song I just resonate with it so much and I'm like yeah I'm, I'm one of those people that like if i'm going through something i don't want to talk about it um because i just don't see the point right like for me i lost my job and you know i love my friends to pieces they have been there for me and they have called me they've checked up on me i remember and i get actually i'll get onto that in a minute but basically as much as I love my friends being there for me, I also don't want to burden people. I think that's maybe where it comes from. I don't feel like I, I don't want to burden people. And so even though my friends will never ever make me feel like that, it's just something that is in me. But I think also in addition to that, I also have this mentality where I feel like it's important to be self-efficient. Self so it's important for you to be able to do things on your own because if you can't do things on your own, then you're leaving yourself Kind of vulnerable to being reliant on other people and that is definitely not moi so yeah um it's been a month now i have had to <sighs> i've had to just keep keep my head above water as much as possible and all these youtube videos that i've been releasing and everything all has been through the, this time of me not having a job and not having a sense of purpose um, to what I used to think it was, I guess. I think now I know my purpose. I know that I just get a different love and a different energy and vibe when I write poetry and I share the po that poetry with people. So I think for sure that's where I need to be. But obviously, like I mentioned before, it's not gonna come easy. But hopefully people can see the passion and people can see the uniqueness and people love the uniqueness because essentially that's all it's, it's about. But I guess I'm making this video and I'm sorry I'm all over the place, but I'm making this video because I want people to understand that when you're going through something difficult, never think it's, it's the end all and be all like there are seasons for a reason you know it might feel like a very long time and to me trust me it's felt like such a long time um but try as much as you can to keep your faith ah <sighs> this is day number five probably something like that um You'll see in the last video clip that I was talking to y'all about my little situation and then my friend turned up on my doorstep so um, I wasn't able to finish off that video but I, because I haven't edited this video, well I haven't edited that video yet I thought I'd just kind of like finish, finish off the video and then edit it all together because then it's like you get a full story but I thought I would do that at the park or something. Um, it's very warm. This whole week has been great. So I'm gonna take myself on a nice little walk and I'm gonna bring y'all with me. We'll find somewhere to sit and we can talk. I'm gonna pull my camera out and I'll finish the video and talk to y'all. So I'll see you in the next clip. Bye. Hi. <laughs> I'm finally at the park. I have to say this is like my childhood hold on let me just take you take my earbuds out so i can talk to you properly you feel me 
I was just listening to some classical music, but I was wanted to say I was gonna well I was gonna just take a walk for a little bit, just enjoy the nature, but I just been seeing this right here. And I'm just like I can hear the birds and everything and it's just it feels good to be out, you know? It feels good to be out. This is definitely like my childhood part growing up, but even even with this being my childhood part growing up. I never realized just how big it was. This is a completely different entrance to what I'm used to. Um, we're talking miles, like this place is huge. So having come through this entrance for the first time, it feels, it feels cool. I like it. I like the fact that I'm with nature. I have got no makeup on and getting in some fresh air, you know, the weather's good and I mean, even the camera angle is given, you feel me? Like, this is no makeup, what? <laughs> anyway, so I was saying before, yeah, my little situation. If you're going through something, um, just know that tough times don't last long. I feel like one of the things that I've been doing to kind of like help me get through this moment this time this season in my life is to do what i always do it's just seek more information seek more knowledge try and understand what's going on because i feel like i've been never mind me panting guys i know i need to hit the gym all right cut me some slack so as i was saying one thing that I always do is just try and seek knowledge but I've noticed like these past few months I've just felt like slightly off balance you know when you feel like there's something not quite I don't know how to put it like I just felt like I wasn't fully getting everything that I should be getting out of life and one thing about me is whoa I was awfully close there wasps one thing about me is that I'm really hard on myself and I don't know how to be not hard on myself so if you've practiced healing in the sense of knowing how not to be hard on yourself and you found some things that you worked you found some things that worked for you please let me know because I want to practice that a little bit more I think it's it's good to challenge yourself it's good to have that voice in your head where you can say like you know you, you know you can do a lot better and you should never be satisfied with kind of like just the bare minimum you should always strive for greatness always see what you can do and where you can get to if you put 100% in rather than I don't know, say 80 or whatever so that's the type of person I am but I feel like sometimes it just goes a bit OD and I don't know how not to make it go OD um, I can't remember the last time where I felt proud of myself and just was happy just sitting in that feeling and allowing that feeling to ride for a long, a long time, you know? If you've lost your job, if you're going through something really difficult, especially, especially, especially in this I can see a dog especially in this like day and age just make sure that you keep your head above water and know that tough times don't last long try your very best oh I need a cold drink all right y'all do I go left or right I'm at a crossroad left or right I think I know where I am now I think I know where I am. Potentially. I'm gonna go left. Do I wanna go left? Yeah, let's go left. I know where I am now. But anyway, I was saying, just try your very best to keep your head above water, keep yourself level-headed. Don't, if you wanna cry, cry. 
nobody's saying that you shouldn't cry no one is saying that you shouldn't feel how you feel in fact i'm encouraging you to feel how you feel you're supposed to allow your emotions to do what it needs to do send you the messages because that's essentially what they are emotions and messages mm-hmm. yeah if you if you just don't know just <sighs> keep your hope alive and know that when something happens in your life anything and this is something i'm trying to teach myself as well anything that happens in your life is a blessing even if in the moment it doesn't feel like it even if in the moment you don't think it is or you don't feel like it is that's fine but when you're able to come out that situation and you're able to find that kind of like space where you can think and breathe and everything feels a little bit more stable try and train yourself to remember that tough times don't last long and they are a blessing it's all about perspective and again like i said i'm not telling you this because i'm like awesome awesome like ugh. i'm not telling you this because it's like i'm great at it in fact on the contrary which is why i've been asking you if you have anything that you've used to help you is that a spot on my nose i believe it is that was disgusting um I was asking you about what you've done to kind of help you not be so hard on yourself. We're all here on this earth in life, figuring it out together. No one has it together. And if they did, then they'd be lying. I can guarantee you there's always something that one person might be looking for or don't feel like they've mastered or anything like that. So don't ever, don't ever feel like someone has it all together, you know, but this is just let's walk and talk we're walking and we're talking so i just want to say y'all though that you know life is hard man life is freaking hard bro life is hard and when you go on social media and you see all these people just happy and happy as larry they say <laughs> happy and everything's like glorious and everything like that First of all, you shouldn't really be doing that. I don't do that. Honestly, I kid you not. I go on, I, when I go on social media, like Instagram, I'm literally on there to just do what I gotta do and leave. If I wanna post something on my story because like it sounds good to me, if it's like a poem or a quote or something, or it's relatable or I felt it when I was reading it, then I'm gonna do that. But I don't spend time scrolling through people's Instagram and like stories and what are they up to and all that kind of stuff. I used to, but I had to learn, you know? Eventually you see the correlation between how you feel about yourself after looking at other people's lives. I guarantee you, you will always feel inadequate if you do that. 100% even the richest guy the most successful guy you know why because the human mind is built first and foremost to it's easier for the human mind to be negative to be down to be sad than it is to be happy but also the human mind is also kind of built in a way where you'll always want the next best thing right when you achieve something, you set yourself a goal, you achieve it. For example, you say, I want to hit like a mill. Guarantee you when you get that mill, by the time to get, you get to that mill, that mill is probably going to be looking like looking like 10,000. So then you're going to feel like you want more and then more and then more, right? So if you look at other people's lives, you're going to feel like you're not doing enough in whatever capacity or whatever thing that you're interested in. So this is just me out of breath giving you some game game that i ain't mastered yet but i'm trying (laughs) i'm trying okay i'm trying yeah one thing one thing that i realized in this time is actually who i believe i was created to be that i feel like i've 
I've realised that, okay? But the problem is getting to where I know I need to be. And that is kind of like the stage that I'm in right now. Oh, was that Jesus I see? Hello. <laughs> um, yeah, that's the problem right now. So I've always known from a young age that I was destined to be greatness, to be great, destined to be greatness. I don't even know what the hell that means. And I hope you have too, because we are all great and we are all unique in our own way. I think once we're able to comprehend that and really understand that, that you as a single individual, you're powerful because you're a single individual and no one else can be you. That's, that's a superpower. We're all superheroes. Really, I might write a poem to that. We are all superheroes. Never forget that. I think I'm kind of blurry right now, but it's okay. It's fine. Like I said, I don't even have makeup on my face. I probably look raggedy. So yeah, it's been a few months since I lost my job. It's been a few months. Currently still don't have a job. I've cried. Not because of losing my job, but I've cried because one thing that I really struggle with is not knowing what's coming next. Moral of the story is, I've had dark times, bad times, low times, but I've also had times where I've been able to get, you know, get up and go, smile, laugh, and no one would know any different. No one would know that I have no job right now. I've felt times where I feel like a loser. I feel like, what am I doing with my life? But again, I've had times where I felt happy and I feel like I'm doing something to kind of progress my situation. Today I saw 1111 and I've never been someone to kind of look out for numbers or anything like that. But it was just really bizarre how it happened. My phone was in charge. I went to pick up my phone to check something and it was 1111. I just just about managed to take a screenshot and then it went to 1112. So I'm glad I was able to do that and I Googled that. And if you've got that as well, please let me know in the comment section your experience. Um, but yeah, it is such a beautiful day today. Look, look at this. Look at this beautiful beaming fireball that's traveling all the way from space. Just so you can stay warm on Earth. Be grateful. <laughs> but yeah i wanted to finish off this little vlog slash talking session um and tell y'all life i'm learning a lot about life i'm trying to learn a lot about the mind but i'm just learning i'm trying to learn as much of as much information from different places about the human mind and the power of the human mind and the meaning you know of existence life here on earth it's just a funny thing isn't it i mean we're born we live and then we die it sounds so morbid but <laughs> a lot of people don't actually live life a lot of people just exist and i feel like sometimes i find myself just existing and i'm not about that so i want to learn as much information as possible to help me grow mentally to help me grow spiritually and whatever I learn obviously I'll share with you because I love having conversations about things like this I love having conversations with depth people often think I'm an overthinker I'm a deep thinker I prefer that at least I know my muse in my brain to discover new heights or corners of my mind right but I wanted to read you guys a poem that I wrote it goes like this to new beginnings that leave the old behind to conquering goals especially the tricky ones to more laughter and smiles and knowing when to say no when yet fits more of our profiles here's to the new beginnings that this month brings may we die straight in letting each moment pull on our heartstrings here's to living life and living it as the true gift that it is and I just wanted to read that poem because as I'm walking right now, I'm just 
trying to be present and be in the moment and just to soak up everything around me nature heals you know so if you ever feel down or anything like that get outside and obviously the sun helps as well but also know that you have the power to fine-tune your mind and fine-tune what you want out of your life it's not easy no one said it's easy I know it's not easy because I'm going through it but the more we keep telling ourselves that hopefully the more we we'll start to see change anyway I'm gonna end this video right here because my battery's like gonna die so I hope you've enjoyed me ranting to you I hope you've actually stayed the whole video and you've listened um, this is like therapy actually to me um, walking and talking nature series I don't know what I'll call it but I hope you've enjoyed this video give it a like a thumbs up leave me a comment let me know how I'm doing if you like this video if you don't you think it's trash doesn't matter leave me a comment but I hope you've also learned something from this video as well and no matter where you are in life just know that there's always someone close to you that can help you you know you don't have to stay where you are you don't have to stay stuck you have power to make changes in your life and you just have to believe in that truthfully believe in that and that's something I'm practicing right now I know I have what it takes I just have to believe that because once I start to believe that I'll see that happening so I'm gonna leave you I hope you're vibing and thriving wherever you are I hope you're enjoying the weather too if it's a sunny day for you I hope you're enjoying it and if not I hope you still find some good in the day and I'm about to leave y'all you know what I'm about to say your girl is out peace